Let me shut that closet. It's going to get on my nerves. Okay. I'm using a stem kit. Alrighty. We got one person here. I didn't tell anybody I was going live today. Wasn't sure if I would. And I was curious if people would just show up. If I just randomly went live and if it would be anybody that even knows who the hell I am. If you don't, if you look at that logo, it might give you an idea. Holy crap. There's six people already. Nine people. How do y'all, what are you doing on your Saturday? <laughs> are any of you subscribed? D the mushroom guy. Hey, Lachlan. Hi. Uh, are you going to Mycology Fest? Which one is Mycology Fest? There's so many. The one in Pennsylvania? The one in Pennsylvania, Laura? Oh, cool. Thanks for subscribing, D. 35 is working. Yeah, I'm working too. Laura, the one in Pennsylvania. I was speaking there and holding ceremony and uh, didn't, hadn't heard from him in a while. And I reached out to say, hey, you know, let me know like details or whatever. I was about to buy my ticket, my plane ticket. And they said, we don't need you anymore. They didn't give a description, a reason, nothing. So I won't be going. A lot of people were going because of me that are kind of disappointed. But I don't know what went wrong or like, I don't know. I don't know. And then I got, well, we're doing a panel. I got asked to be on a panel in the uh, Radical Mycology Convergence in Portland, Oregon in October. And I'll be on a panel with Kevin Feeney. So, like, that's super exciting. Yeah, I know, Laura. Um, let them know, maybe. I don't know what else to say about that. I can make up some ideas, but they would just be making up stuff. And I don't like to do that as to why or whatever. It was just really weird to not even tell me why. Usually when they don't say why, there's it's something they think will hurt your feelings. But I'm used to, with this mushroom, it's usually one of two things. Um, it's people that aren't familiar with it, that don't trust my take on it. And are worried about the reputation of it and including that in anything they're associated with. And then when it's a, a kind of thing where you've got several people that work hiring people and all that, the people that are hiring people get it, but then maybe the people higher up don't and they're more conservative. Usually that's what it is, but um, well, I don't know. We'll see. And then if it's not that, it's that I'm too science-based and I don't fit in with their woo or I'm too woo and I don't fit in with their science because I straddle both worlds and I'm trying to teach the world that we shouldn't live separating all of them and that we should put them all together. That separating mushrooms from their medicine, from their spiritual side, I don't know, it it's time to marry it all together and move forward with all of that. But it's weird doing what I'm doing when you're trying to pave new paths in the world with something you don't fit in anywhere until you do. And we'll see maybe the documentary that I'm making. I don't know. I'm slow today y'all because I had dental work done and I'm on, um, the K word painkiller natural thing that will get me censored, whatever. So let me, let me check on you guys. So I'm speaking a little slowly today because I'm trying to deal with pain. Oh, grim. Oh my God. Hey. Ragnarok. I have a whole website, amanitadreamer.net. And I have a whole playlist on there where I do things on camera. And not only did I do it, I did eight and a half grams as my very first dose. And I did it all on camera. 
And then I have follow-up videos, immigration sessions, what I knew about it and what I felt about it, what happened to me, all that stuff. Um, and I strongly believe in it. I've done it several times since then. Um, it's a very important, it's a very important medicine. I also have a video on the role that I believe this mushroom plays versus psilocybin versus ayahuasca. Ah, Andrew, you got you one too, right? Yeah, right. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Um, let's see. Radical mycology is incredible. LMP. Um, yeah, I have heard that and I'm excited. I've never been. I just went to Oregon for the first time. Uh, let's see, I just got back about a week ago. No, I, I because I was there filming a week ago today, a full day of filming. And I love the area. I love Oregon. And a lot of people have said that it's really cool. Well, it's lovely to meet you. Hope to do a ceremony sometime. Yeah. Um, the next ceremony is going to be in Switzerland. So I doubt you'll make that one, but I haven't, I haven't made any plans for this winter solstice yet because I'm just so tired and overwhelmed from filming and traveling and holding ceremony. So I really need to do something for winter solstice this year, but I would really like it to be something I participate in, not lead. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about winter solstice. I mean, it'll be here in the States clearly because after I spend six weeks in Europe traveling and shooting and holding festival, shooting, filming, let me use the correct word in the day and age of censorship. I leave for Europe for filming the documentary. I'll be gone for six weeks, so I'll be exhausted. But if any of you are in Paris and want to meet up for coffee, um, I fly to Paris on Wednesday, August 24th. And if you go to my events page on amityadreamer.net, I have an event there where you can just sign up to meet me for coffee. It doesn't cost anything. It's just a way for me to for you to just let me know you're coming so I know to look for you. And the address and everywhere that we're the coffee shop where we're meeting. If anyone is from Paris, I'll be in Paris until August 31st, where I'll be going to Zurich. I'll be meeting up with Adeptus Psychonautica, Rob, the YouTuber. And uh, we're going to do some shenanigans on camera. Maybe we'll do a live. We're going to do some filming and shooting and collaborations. I'm going to hold ceremony outside of Zurich, outside of Bern in a tiny little town. And then let's see, I go to Warsaw to interview Ava Machacek. She's got a chapter in Kevin Feeney's book about all the components of the mushroom. I'll be filming her for the documentary and meeting up with a couple of my viewers from Poland there. And we're going to go foraging. And then I'm flying to Sweden to this really small town where I'm going to start foraging and getting any of that on video and one of my patrons lives there and she has this cute little cottage and we're just going to hang out and drink a lot of tea. And then I'm taking the train South to meet my shaman who makes all my merch and I will hold do ceremony with him where he's leading ceremony for me. <laughs> then I'm going, let's see to Copenhagen. And then I'm flying to Iceland where I'm going to isolate and come down from the whole trip and be alone. I wander around Iceland by myself and then I'll be home on September 23rd. So I'll be gone six weeks. Okay. Yes. Full schedule. All right. Let me catch up. Let me catch up. Um, let's see how rude of them. They're lost. Well, maybe they'll have me back in another year after the documentary comes out and then it's a little more mainstream. I don't know. We'll see. Totally get it. Unity is hard, right? Andrew, Amity to help me quite a bit last night. Oh, cool. I hear it all the time. Ragnarok, what about Sils I answered you trying to do just that with the church, Amanita, right? Fergus, good luck with that. <clears throat> um, let's see. Could you advise on ceremonial dosing? Yeah, um, for ceremonies, it's inhaled. I have to choose my words carefully here. In large and large and large and large amounts over and over and over through the entire ceremony and then watch my ceremony. My Go to my events page. I have a whole bunch of videos about ceremony on amanitadreamer.net. Go to the events page, watch all that. And if you do that and then you're smoking it the whole time, then you're going to be all right. Oh, hey, Camaro. Happy Saturday from Castledale, Utah. Your state is beautiful too. 
I had these growing under pine tree where you sleep. Yep. Pines here too. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And they're illegal in Louisiana. I'm sure that's your alcohol lobby. What day is ceremony? Um, for the one in Switzerland, it's, um, I have very little desk space and lots of things. I'm going to be pulling your cards for you here in a moment. I'm just waiting for people to get here. Ceremony in Switzerland is, if you're asking about Switzerland, I guess, I don't know, is the 31st, I think? No, it's not. That's not right. That's not right. Where is the ceremony? Oh, it's uh, September 3rd. Sorry about that. September 3rd. Um, as far as the one for winter solstice, I don't know yet. I don't even know where it's going to be. <laughs> um, show Camaro, my shaman. Yes, he's my shaman. He makes all my, those that merch right there, that logo, he makes all my merch. Uh, he designs the packages for my smoke blends. My store is open right now, by the way, y'all. It'll be closed by tonight, maybe sometime tomorrow. A lot of stuff's already selling out. Anyway, he makes, he's a graphic artist and he's been working with Amanita since he was a child and he holds ceremony, high dose ceremony, and he is my shaman. Uh, there are lots of magic mushrooms here too, but they changed the stock law. Now they're all on private property and even for depression. Hey, uh, Ban, are you talking about these ones or the psilocybin ones? This documentary sounds awesome. Looking forward to seeing it. Thanks, D. It is going to be awesome. It's so hard. I had no idea it would be so hard to make a documentary. Very, very stressful, but also amazing. <laughs> really, really fun. I'll show you. Someone grabbed my phone for me while we were filming one day and shot a little behind the scenes stuff. We, we had a lot of videographers and photographers on set taking lots of video, but it's all in raw file. Um, but let's see if this will play. That's Bella that made the mugs, the smug. Anyway, I was, we were recording her. I could have turned the sound on. I'm sure that would have been helpful. I don't know. What? <laughs> Let me get my shit together. How about that? Let's do sound. It wants to be shared and it wants to help us. Okay. <laughs> anyway, just, 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 just stuff. Um, Liz, I know my wife and I are so much happier here in Utah versus Detroit. Yeah, that's kind of a change. Oh, thank you. 1101. Hit that like button. I never think to ask for any of that. Follow me. <laughs> Subscribe. Hit the like button. I never think to do that. Soon time for forging in Norway too. Yeah, Grim. Um, I'll be in Sweden. They say in time for, to forage up there also and to get it all on camera. So we'll see. Hey, Annette from Florida. Greetings from Estonia. Hope you have a safe trip. Thank you, Janice. Uh, have you seen documenting the Creeping Garden? No, let me go. Creeping Garden. All right, I pulled it up in Google, and I'll go watch it when I get off of here. Thank you. <laughs> Mount Hood near Portland. Have to respect them. Uh, Andrew... Wait a minute. Are you the one that was messaging me on Instagram? About the locations that you're mapping for Amanita? Is that you? I could just look you up and see. Sorry there's no light in here, y'all. There. Does that help? Let me see if this is the same Andrew. They're the same person. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe Andrew will answer me. Also, my store is open. <laughs> I forget to tell y'all to subscribe or like. 
but my store is open mushroomvoice.com. It's only open for a couple of days. I don't like that light. Nope. Too bright. I don't know. What's in this cup that starts with the K word? That's the painkiller that's natural. That's called Mangda. It makes me super sensitive to everything. Light and stuff. Uh, band no, the psilocybin ones. Okay. I would eat two small ones. It would go away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yup. I hear you. The, um, there's been a new finding recently that there is no connection between serotonin and depression. Or ser uh, depression and dopamine. I'm thinking it's DMT. That's that's my suspicion. But also this much this one helps with with depression too. So who knows? No, you're just saying respect the mountain. It's my profile pic. I don't do Insta. Okay, Andrew, good to know. Yeah. Um. Are you you're coming to the convergence, Andrew? Since you'll be there. Mount Hood's beautiful, man. It's just in, it was in the background. No matter where we went, where we stayed, whatever we did, Mount Hood was just beautiful. And the Hood River, like in all those waterfalls. Hey, Skanu. Hello from Egypt. Hi. Let's see. Melbourne, Australia. Are y'all still fruiting? I think it's too cold there now. Y'all are in the middle of winter now, right? Oh, cool, D. Thanks for the recommendation. I think I will like it. Hey, filthy foraging. Happy Saturday to you, too. George, I am in pain today. That's how I am. I had dental work done yesterday. So this is a painkiller. I just saw that study today about depression. It's interesting, isn't it? Why do I have a mushroom on the wall? Amanita Dreamer is my name. Mushrooms are my game. <laughs> if you look over my channel, a lot of my stuff has been censored. So I moved all of that to AmanitaDreamer.net, all the videos over there. And so the, all of my content is about that. But I also make content about mental health and spiritual health. So I do have nature walks and stuff about spirituality, but also stuff about mental health, like my have coffee with me series. That's like mental health stuff. So, but it's all because of that, that saved my life. And so I am a dreamer and that's my logo for my channel. Thank you, George. I think I will be probably by Sunday or Monday. Yeah. The thing about being on benzodiazepines for 10 years, like I was and the state of mind I was in that they, what they did to me, I didn't get to keep up with my physical body like glasses or dental health, you know, or working out or eating healthy, like all that body maintenance stuff. So by the time I got off of them, I had a lot of work to do on my body to catch up. So the last three years have just been catching up to my body, eating better, eating healthier foods, getting the junk out of my life, working out, getting my physical health back, taking care of my teeth, you know, all that stuff. So it's all kind of catching up. You know what I mean? Ska new. Aw, I hope I am your new favorite channel. Welcome. Thank you, George. I will be. Oh, you already, I already read that. Yes. Uh, what's your streaming times? I don't, I usually announce when I'm going to go live, when I have Zoom meetings and uh, when my store is going to open. I announce all that in a newsletter that I just send out once a month. Cause I don't like spamming people, you know, with bullshit and like filling your mailbox or whatever. So it goes out on the first of every month. If a lot of times I'll just go live, like for special occasions, like the anniversary of my channel, winter solstice. I don't usually do it regularly, especially since I'm on the road so much travel a lot. So like today was just, I was bored laying in the bed and I just wanted to say hi. So I don't stream every day. I don't have time to stream every day. I run four websites. I make content for YouTube. I have a my own private patron. I'm making a documentary. I don't have like an accountant or anything. And I'm on a lot of podcasts and I write articles and I write blog posts. So I'm, I don't have time to stream every day. <laughs> 
It would be fun, though. Hey, Mr. Mind, I love the Netherlands. Do you know about me in the Netherlands? I went to the Netherlands when I was in college, and I got a job in Akersloot working on a flower farm. And I lived there for like two and a half months. And I started dreaming in Dutch. That was the coolest thing is when my dreams were, they flipped one day and they were suddenly the whole dreams. They were all in Dutch. That was so freaking cool. My favorite town was Alkmaar. I liked the coast. We went up to Holland, up to the coast. And I liked the windmills in, um, I can't think of the name of the place now. Anyway, it, it's a protected park, you know, when they make cheese and stuff. It's like a touristy area. I liked going there. Yes, D Mushroom Guy is telling you the name of what's in my cup. The Red Manga. Greetings from Canada. Hey, Jesse. I miss Canada. Hello from Greece. I checked your website the other day. Do you ship overseas? I do. Yes, I do. My shrink has me on antidepressant. Been reducing my dose for a while. Feeling better. Skills are effective. And they, yeah, I know. Uh, there are several people that I know that also have skills are effective. And a lot of them said that that helped. And then a lot of them said that it didn't. And they, but they use weed. And then they say that that helps. I think it's just, Everybody is different in their senses and their perception of other self and other. So like people would, when we smoke a lot of that and do ceremony, there are plenty of others there. So that line between other and self on and off different medications. I don't think there's just like a one size fits all sort of thing. You know what I mean? The documentary would be awesome. Thank you. I hope it is. I really hope it is. I have high hopes for it. Um, why do you have this thing in front of your mic? It's called a windscreen. It reduces uh, hard consonants like the, the, p, s, k, those sounds. It reduces their impact on the sound. You know, it, it helps level those words out that it does the Um, <laughs> yes, we know you here. <laughs> That's cool. Ban everything. I'm also in the process. Let's see. I was on prescribed benzos 25. Took myself off two years ago. Very gradually. Yeah, Annette. I know your story. I'm so glad you're around. Maybe I could get you in my documentary. Can you write to me on Instagram? If you don't have an account and you want to. Just make one for that or whatever. Message me. Maybe in my travels, I'll be nearer where you are or I can work it out. I'm planning to go to Amsterdam. Can't wait. Amsterdam's really great. I love Amsterdam. Do you know what is visual snow? Yeah, I know about visual snow. Why do you have it? Troy. <laughs> do you crowdfund your documentary? No, we are actually doing it the traditional way where we have an investor deck. We have a company who builds the investor deck and then they help us uh, fundraise. We're going after big money. We have a really high budget. So we'll never turn down money. Um, but investorship is in the thousands, not the tens. You know what I mean? Like, But if you want to help with the effort, I have to pay my way, like my meals and my Ubers and train tickets and stuff to film this thing. So if you want to support me, you could buy me a coffee. I don't know if I can drop links in chat. Let's see. I'll leave you my buy me a coffee. And every bit of money just goes straight into my travel. Let me see if I can get my link to my page. Bear with me for a moment. Yeah, there's the link. Here's the link to buy me a coffee and I get it immediately. So everything helps. 
because sales in the store are down, obviously, because of the way the world is and patronage and all that stuff. People are having to cut back. They're afraid prices are going up. So anything that anybody does or donates or buys me a coffee will be going straight into my travel fund for Europe to be filming this thing. I just brewed and drank my pants. Oh, yay. And I'm online. <laughs> That's good fortune for you, right? Ban everything. Louisiana has medical marijuana, 10 times street price. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Insurance won't cover. I have to take because I'm on disability. Good Lord. Man, Louisiana is all kinds of messed up. Oh, George. Yeah, but I, f yeah, I have it, but I found out the name of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I found that caffeine, eating healthy, yep, all of that, all of that, all of that. <laughs> really? How old are you? Dabbing is so 2020. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, let's see. Now my insurance has stopped paying for pain meds. Oh, it's bad what they're doing with all of that. That's why this is so important. Oh, thank you, Janice. Thank you, Janice. Okay, I'm all caught up. I want to pull your cards for you. I got these as a gift and I use them every morning. I pull a card and read it. So what I want to do for you guys is pull a card for you and it will be your information for you to focus on. So I have cards. I will pull you a card. So here's what I want you to do. I want to ask everyone to stop typing now that nobody is making a comment. Just stop making comments for just a little while. And if you want me to pull a card for you and tell you what it says for you to focus on, then what I need you to do is in the comments, just say me. Don't say anything else. Just write me. Ska knew you should have a little bit of faith. This is not tarot cards. It's just something for you to think about. That's all. I'll give y'all a second to say me. Ska, then I'm not going to give you one, but you're going to want one. And then you're going to be upset that you didn't. <laughs> There's nothing to believe in. You're not being very trusting in me right now. Okay. Is that everybody? Here we go. All right. We're starting with Troy. Troy. This is your card. It says, Eternity, give yourself permission to slow down. Is it backward? It's backward for me. Okay, that was choice. Is Juarez, you ready? Evolve. The cosmic potential flows through you. Evolve. <laughs> Lucy. Ready? Eclipse. Celebrate cycles. Andrew, no. Did I skip somebody? How many have I done? Three, one, two, three. I did Troy, Isuarez, Lucy. I skipped Andrew. Andrew, destiny. It is not in the stars, but in yourself. Okie dokie. Where are we now? Ben, ready? Expand. Growth is often uncomfortable and messy, but necessary.
Mary. Limitless, know your worth. <laughs> These are great. Okay. Where are we, Mary? Swizzler, you ready? Courage. Wish upon a star and release all limiting beliefs. Where are we? Jesse, ready, Jesse Gray Wolf? Light. Without the dark, we'd never see the stars. I read that as contrast. Sometimes contrast sucks, but ban everything. You ready? Dream. Wish upon a star. These are good. <laughs> Where are we? Mr. Mind, you ready? Phases. Shine even when you're not whole. Ska, you're not going to say it, so you don't get one. Caitlin, me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Caitlin. Discover. Spot new opportunities. Dominic. North Star. Hold your ground and shine bright and unwavering. Where are we? Ska, I don't believe in that. Grim, you ready? Nucleus, the power within stars is the power within you. <laughs> Who is this? You ready? Manifest, dream deep and ask for what you want. <laughs> filthy foraging, was that you? Did I just do filthy or did I do who is this? Who did I just do? Sorry, the Kratom's kicking in. <laughs> I just did who is this. Okay. Uh, let's see. Filthy, it's your turn. All right. Self-care. Spoil yourself in the moonlight. Courage. I like that one. <laughs> one of my dreams just came. Oh, cool, Ben. Man, and in this heat, everywhere, all around the globe. Oh, Bobby, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, yay, Suarez. Cool. Is that everybody? It's just advice, you know? Cool shit to think about. Okay, then. Pick me two cards, Scott. <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> Is that your penance because you were a non-believer? You have to do two? All right, here's your two. Outer space. Take the time to heal, grow, and expand. And radiate. Let your light shine through. <laughs> Lucy. Say me, me. <laughs> Y'all are funny. I guess you've watched How to Change Your Mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I did. I watched it on the plane, actually. I downloaded it. Sounds related. <laughs> they are, right? You got the message twice. I thought the same thing. <laughs> it's like, though, I, did, I didn't believe in tarot cards. And a long time ago, I was in New Orleans on New Year's Eve. Drank a little too much. And New Year's Day, I was, I went back. Um, I don't remember what street I was on, but I went to a voodoo shop. And I was like, oh, hell, you know, whatever. I'll get my future spread read or something. And the person that was reading the cards, she was like, oh, my God, have you been sick? And I was like, no. She said, are you healthy? I was like, yeah. She said, are you planning to do anything risky? I was like, you're scaring me now, right? She's like, well, I don't like to do these kind of readings. This is bad. And I was like, okay, just tell me. I'll At least I have a heads up and I can plan for it. And she said, it looks like you're going in the hospital in May, sometime in late spring. And then it looks like you're going to be in and out of doctor's offices all summer. And then it looks like you're going back in the hospital in December and that you'll be in and out of the hospital. I'm like, my God, that really sucks. So whatever I went on <laughs> and then I became pregnant with my daughter in May within weeks I was throwing up so much that I was dehydrated and I got put in the hospital <laughs> and then that summer I failed the gestational diabetes test so I had to keep going back to the doctor's office every Saturday <laughs> for a blood sugar test <laughs> and I had to go on this diet thing for having too high of a blood sugar and then in December, I went into preterm labor and I went in and out of the emergency room in preterm labor and then stopping labor until her lungs had time to develop. I mean, like they were so accurate, except, you know, she thought it would be negative, but it was positive. It was just a difficult pregnancy. But I thought that was pretty cool. <clears throat> okay, y'all can write stuff now. Nobody else talks about me. I mean, I know what my spirit guides are, but nobody else tells me what they see in me for them. Why do you see something? Isn't that crazy who is? I mean, like, talk about accurate. <laughs> Long ago, 1990s, a witch told me my future, but it was a message of hope, and it did happen in the past two years. Aw, that's so cool. A warning and final result. Columbus, Ohio, a hookup for this? You can buy that. It's legal. But if you're talking about psilocybin, I can't help you. Okay, Richard. Richard, inspire. There's a fire inside you burning brighter than the sun. Mm -hmm. Good for you, Richard. That's cool. Grim, I had the same idea. You know, precognition or people that are able to read other people's energies or something. And maybe they use the cards as a tool or something. I don't know. Although the phases could feel related to anyone if his mindset's ready to believe. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Scott. You're welcome, Richard. I don't feel like I have to believe or not believe or make a statement or feel anything about anything. So, like, it's interesting to me if my cards get read and... If it's very accurate, like very detailed and accurate, and then it happens, I'm like, wow, I wonder how that could be. If it's sort of generalized, then I know that I could make it fit anything. And then I'm like, okay, that that was interesting. So I don't really feel like I've got to make a belief statement about anything. I don't know. 
as far as I, I see auras when I'm on psilocybin, but not anything else. But yeah, like immediately, that's the first thing that happens, which is kind of cool. Hey, Joshua, where the hell have you been? It's been a while. I'm back in Washington. Are you? Holy shit. We flew in and out of Seattle, man. Trying to maintain my sanity, but I'm so happy to see you live. Oh, sweetie. I want to hug you. I'm so glad you're okay. I was worried about you. You want, to, want me to pull you a card? This is for Joshua. New beginnings. <laughs> From chaos comes calm. Josh, really? That's what it says. That's hilarious. <laughs> if you don't believe in anything, you will fall for everything. I don't believe that at all. Um, there's a difference between being an angry, fearful person who's not willing to have faith in anybody and somebody who thinks that they don't need anybody else. So they don't believe in anything anybody else has. I don't know. There's plenty I believe in. <laughs> it's just things like that about the third eye or traveling or precognition or past lives, all that stuff. Sometimes I believe it. Sometimes I don't. And I just don't feel the need to make, to figure it out and then make some public statement about it. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and if you do enough psilocybin, you realize there is no truth anyway. Like you totally understand there is no truth. Let's see. Though he doesn't, let's see. It's been a while. What is the name of this oracle? You talking about my cards? They're called Starlight. They were a birthday present from somebody that I uh, held ceremony with. And they come like this. Is that what you were asking? Let's talk about dreams. I've always dreamt that I am falling from a high place as a kid. Oh, I hate falling dreams. Andrew, I've had a reading which said my spirit animal is an osprey. Oh, wow. That is so interesting. Hey, Bradley. Yeah, Josh, that is some shit, right? Richard, I bought you a coffee. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. That's awesome. I need it. I'm trying to get my shit together to go out of town to go to Europe, you know, and I'm just trying to get an, enough money put together. Like, I switched my phone plan with AT&T, and so they gave me, like, this $300 reward card thing like I'm saving that for especially if I wake up angry look when I was going drawals from benzos I affected electronics what is that I, I was going through the same thing but it was only when I was going through withdrawals. Is that an alien? I haven't the faintest idea that that itself is such a mercurial, elusive, zen sort of personality. I never believed the word it says. I simply entertain its notion. I love Terrence McKenna. Sky wants a third card. She wants to see. Are you a she? Sorry, I didn't mean to assume your pronouns. I bet. I bet it's going to be along the same lines. You ready? Nope, it is not. Love to the moon and back. <laughs> Gifted cards are the best, right, Jesse? I have dreams that my legs are heavy and in pain. I can barely walk. I have those too. I used to have lots of dreams that I could float or fly. None of those anymore lately. Um, usually stuff like that is 
a sense of being out of control of your own choices and that a lot of shit's just happening to you, but also the idea that it it's temporary and heavy, but you got to work through it and you'll fly again soon. Oh, cool, Lucy. Yeah, these are really cool cards because they're less about future and just more like advice. Um, a lot of people asked me to come to the UK, Richard, but um, the problem is it's this one is in particular is illegal there. So, I mean, like, what would I do when I got there? I mean, I could talk about it. I could do a speaking engagement, but I couldn't hold ceremony with it. All right, Bradley. Full moon. Protect your energy and hold your stars close. I had to replace 12 microwave ovens. <laughs> I went through three microwaves in one week, dude. I get you. <laughs> Have you ever dreamed of people and events that happened? Yeah. Um, precognition happens either consciously awake or, or asleep in the dream state, you know? Lucy, interesting about electronics. I can't have a watch on me or they stop. Never figured out why. <laughs> You're welcome, Bradley. Hey, I'd really like for you to pick a card for me today. Hey, please. Ready? All right, please. Morning star. Keep shining even when the others have quit. Richard, my, which trips? This one or the blue one? Bam, was killed in a car accident. So my sister and I both saw it happen in dreams as it happened. Ew, God. Yikes. That sucks. Ew. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> please. Isn't that great? I like your card the best so far, please. I'm still working my way through them, you know, like pulling one in the morning with my coffee. And I haven't seen that one yet. That's a pretty cool one. Have I missed anybody's comment? I don't like missing people's comments. Suarez, he also says when I'm high, my aura is bigger. Really? That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Bye, Mr. Mind. Have a good night. Ska, do you know that they made a spoon that makes you taste whatever their flavor you want to taste? Tiny, small amounts of electricity. I wonder about people gets electric shock. I've never heard of that. What the hell? Can you drop a link to that or something? No, me. Hello. I picked some about a week ago, put them in the fridge, finally buying a dehydrator. When we get in the fridge, do anything psychoactive properties? Shouldn't know. Got some tea from you about a year ago. Not brewed it yet. Would like to know how to brew it. Um, so you got, okay, so I don't sell tea. And I don't sell those. I sell smoke blends or not tea. But they lose actives after like nine months or so. So if it's been a year, you might as well. I mean, if you make a tea, some of the other stuff like the Blue Lotus or whatever, depending on which blend you got, probably still has some relaxing properties to it but like that mullen in there that it's got these little fine hairs on it that if you drink that it'll irritate your throat so don't don't do that you could smoke it and maybe still get some effects from the blue lotus and the passion flower they're very calming oh birkina bradley got birkina in a previous live stream and i got a new job shortly after really 
That's freaking cool. <laughs> That's cool, man. <laughs> That's freaking amazing. I like him noticing a dark room with the eyelids closed. Still see my hand. What? That's so cool. First time viewer. I've been binging all your videos since I found Amanita in my back. Oh, cool. Hey, you're very welcome. It's my pleasure. It makes me happy. <laughs> I'm going to read a text from someone. Hang on just a second. All right, Josh, I'm going to keep doing this and I'm going to respond to you here when I'm done here, but I love you and you're fine and we'll talk soon. Dowsers are sensitive to changes in the magnetic fields of the earth, which helps them discover underground water, can sense the magnetic field of the body, anger, morphogenic field. Cool. Do they grow from conifers? Okay, so... Carl, in my area, they grow only from pine trees. In a lot of the northern areas in Europe, they grow with fir trees and like in Canada with cedars. So they they more prefer conifers than deciduous, actually. But I mean, there are places where they grow with, with deciduous. Red Bali works 10 times better. Really? I've never tried it. I'll get some. Moving costs. Yeah. 15 grams a day. My Lord, that's a lot. Don't they make, doesn't it make you nauseous? Um, and that the purse of are only down here. Yeah. In the Southeast. Yew trees. I've heard of that, Bradley. That they're under use. Yep. Good night, Scott. Thank you for dropping in. Richard, sorry for delay. 10 grams, Panthers, powder, have his tea, drank about an hour ago, feeling this. Oh, God, geez, man. You realize that they're like really, 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 really strong. Then that's a lot. I'm kind of worried about you now. Just, uh, hmm. Dowsing does work well. We use it on jobs to find underground cables and water lines. It's really weird that my lineage, my family, my great grandfather was a water dowser, but they are very, um, pick a card for me. Okay. They're very like all that. Anything is witchcraft. If it's not pure, um, Christianity or doctors and Anything else is is witchcraft and they don't believe in it. Yet, they used it on their land. My great-grandfather was a dowser. They didn't think that was weird. <laughs> I'll pick a card for me. Scott wants me to pick a card for me. Inspire. There's a fire inside you burning brighter than the sun. <laughs> and this is the sun mushroom. There you go. I don't know anything about vaginatas. It's, um, I mean, I can check my book. Uh, let's see. I've been trying to find info vaginata. So let me look that up. Carl, thank you. UK have lots of conifers been putting the used amanita pulp under them. Good. Good. Let me know if it works. Richard. Oh, you're talking to Richard. Um, they consume or suggest that they have, and you're on this chat, total waste of a come up. Be nice, Camaro. Richard will be great. And friends. Oh, did y'all hear that? Some loud thunder. Ray Cow, how do you say that? Ray Cow? Ray Cow? Hi from New Zealand. I have both Panther and Normal Powder here. I used the wrong one. I feel okay. All right. All right. Country. 
Let me see what they say about Vajnata. Vajinata. Oh my God. So many pages about it. 121, 23, 25. None of those were it. 55, 57. What's going on? Oh, here we go. Amanita Vaginata Group. They're gray. Um, is the type species of section Vaginatia, meaning that it was chosen as the morphological prototype for this section? Um, odor is mild to indistinct. Taste is mild and pleasant. Grisette reportedly was derived from the French word grease for gray, historically referred both to coarse gray. French women wore gray woolen dresses. Description, which you don't need because you already know what you have. It's a very commonly seen mushroom recurring solitarily to scattered throughout North America, just about anywhere mixed woods are formed. Most experts feel there currently are several different Amanita species that go by this name. In North America, thus names may change. The mushrooms don't change, but our knowledge of them does. And then there's, this is considered a whole group of mushrooms, which includes uh, Rakapus, which I've never even heard of. It doesn't say anything about their edibility. Stenea. Garnlandica. Nivellus. <laughs> it's a whole group. Populophila. Philia. Populophilia. Justicia. Justicia. I don't know. It's a it's a large group. It's not a single species. Barosii, pseudo Croatia. There's a lot in here, dude. Fulva, Syndica flava. Oh well. Sorry. There's a whole bunch of them. Let's see. Richard will be great. <laughs> I have both panther and normal. Okay. Okay. How does kombucha work with them? I don't know. I mean, you can use kombucha potentially maybe to help convert ibotenic acid to muscimol if there's still enough lactobacillus bacteria in it. Maybe our well men found water for wells on two properties many years ago and said that's how he's been finding water for 50 years. Yeah. I mean, evidently it works. Hey, Fernando. Why is it impossible to have a balanced conversation with a female mushroom? Because she's talking too much. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> What's the best first time method with them? Tea, dry, have some Russian paint oil. I'm thinking of putting some Manuka, some with yogurt. Um, big fan of the tea first time around. Um, I have a video called how to find your dose. And in that I explain a little bit about that. And then I also have a video on the importance of using both the first time out the tea. It's national moth month. Ah, Rikeo, I keep pronouncing your name wrong. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Sorry, it is only National Moth Week. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll keep doing research. I dried them so I have some time. True, true. What is a mushroom's favorite hobby? Sports. <laughs> oh my God. 
<laughs> Y'all are awesome. <laughs> This is fun. I got a sticker from Seaside, Oregon. Oh, it's whiting out. The last time I did psilocybin, I met an octopus. <laughs> I would like to show you all my stickers on my water cup, but I'd have to go get it. What do we expect from these the first time? I'm going to find one eventually under a pine tree here. Determined to try it. Um, go to my website, amityadreamer.net. I have all kinds of videos on what to expect from every different way that you could use it. Good luck. I hope you find some. Uh, Carl, when you do that in low doses, uh, Amanita bumps psilocybin. In high doses, Amanita kills a trip. It's like when you go in the hospital... If you're having a bad trip and you go in, they give you a benzodiazepine to kill the trip. And Amanitas use those same pathways. I've actually used it to kill a trip before. I've used Amanita to kill a psilocybin trip. But in low doses, they stack well. I've watched the videos. All right, dosages, everything's okay. Okay, good. Why didn't the mushroom enter the weightlifting competition? Because he said he wasn't strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's great now i want stroganoff that sounds good scan you in french it works even better we don't pronounce the t oh cool raw okay as in the sun got it egyptians and maori of new zealand had many same names for these energies k direction word and then our world okay so How do I say? I love the etiology of the word. That's awesome. Ra for sun. Same names. Energies. K. Ao. Ao or ow for world. Can you write it out phonetically? The name means decorate or light in the world. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Can you write it out? Opiates to. Nasty destroys psilocybin trip. Oh, opiates too destroy, mostly destroy psilocybin. Got it. I put it together. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Ow. So, Ray K. Ow. Ray K. Ow. <laughs> Why couldn't the mushrooms get into the over 18s disco? <laughs> he wasn't. <laughs> Oh, God, Sky, you're killing it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God, my cat. Hang on a minute. Something's wrong with my cat. I'll take my pajama wearing ass. Hang on a minute. What's up? What's up? Can you help? Yeah. Oh, and I'm sorry. All right, let's see. Ra Kiao. Ra Kiao? Oh my God, I'm sorry. Am I killing it? What platform do mushrooms use for their video conferences? Shroom. <laughs> okay, that one's really great. I like that one. Still trying to find your video where you say how to prepare the Amanita? Um, Fernando, AmanitaDreamer.net. Scroll down to the how to prepare playlist. Polka dot pants and polka dot suitcase where'd you see my polka dot suitcase how did you see my polka dot suitcase was it in a video let 
But my suitcase isn't in the room. I have a polka dot suitcase. How did you know that? It has to be in a video somewhere. Now I gotta know. I'm going to my channel. What did I do? Glacier National Park. Was it that one? Did I show my suitcase in that one? <laughs> Glacier National Park was insane. It was so beautiful. I'm fast forwarding through that video to see if I show my. I don't show my suitcase in that video. How did you know that I had a polka dot suitcase? <laughs> Wait, likely too hot for magic mush. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fernando. It'll be there. Sorry, you posted it on YouTube. What did I do? How did, did I have, I don't know what video you're even talking about now. I imagine most of your things are polka dot. Enough of them are, yes. That that would not be a wrong assumption. Boo back, Jimmy. <laughs> Why didn't the fungi want to go on a second date with the mushroom girl? Because she had no morals. <laughs> morals, that's cute. What is the muscle oil in your store? It is an oil extraction of Amanita. It was a picture with Freya in it. Oh, really? Oh, when Freya was sitting in my suitcase on my community tab on my channel, it makes sense now. Got it. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for making that make sense. Is it legal to sell muscaria mushrooms on the street? Um, if you are a muscamol shop, then you clearly sell them, right? I can't click on your name on your profile. Um do you have, do you sell them? I mean, because they're legal. They're legal. In America, they're completely unregulated. You just have to say that they're not for human consumption. They're illegal in um, Louisiana. That's the only state. Yeah, I mean, you can sell them on the street. You can sell them like I sell them on the internet. Well, well, there's a lot of confusion about that law, Bradley, and I've gone into great detail with it, and I've had more discussions than I can even remember about it, and the consensus is that there is no consensus, and as long as there's not, I can't really, unless it's absolutely clear, then I can't really... I can't sell. Blackthorn, oh my gosh. Hey. <laughs> Can you expand on this convergence you referred with Mount Hood? Um, it's the radical mycology convergence. Here's the link. Grim saying, please don't sell on the streets and attract attention. That's how things get illegal. I mean, it depends on what street, but also I don't know if he literally meant walking around on streets or he's, 
using that colloquially. What is the world's biggest mushroom competition? The Champignons League. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. You live in Sacramento? I was in Sacramento back in March. You walk around with a briefcase and sell them dried. Where the hell do you live? It must be a place that knows what they are. Because that certainly isn't America. I'm always looking for more vendors for my website, but you have to have access to a lot of them. Because once you get listed on my website, it is nonstop. Lots and lots of orders. Because I had two Russian sources and one of them can't like get, he can't ship anymore. And then I lost him. And then I had another Russian woman and she sold all of hers. So now I'm down to uh, a Carpathian, a Siberian and an American. <laughs> I'm in Colorado. I go to college towns to sell them. Oh, okay. Yeah. People in Colorado know about them. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, they're fruiting right now. I've been seeing pictures of them fruiting on Instagram. In Colorado, I'm assuming above like 4,000 feet maybe. But I don't know like what, what area. They don't disclose. <laughs> Most mushroomers don't disclose. We're down to 28 folks. It's super fun. I'm hunting them in Colorado. They are very abundant. I mean, y'all only go a few months without them. They were fruiting uh, in September last year. And then they fruited all the way through like into January, I think. And then... I don't know. It was just a few months where they didn't fruit and then they started picking back up again in spring. Fernando, do you know the story from Pa? I know all about Paul's statements. I have to keep working so hard about what he said. People talk about it all the time and I have to keep saying, okay, first of all, that was Pantherina. Second of all, he didn't prepare them properly. Third of all, that was an overdose. Like, ah. <laughs> what did the girl mushroom say to the boy mushroom? You're a fun guy. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. Okay, then. Shall we go? I hope I entertained you for a little while on a Saturday. It is 6.45, so... Oh, my God, Straws. Hey, I'm about to leave. Damn it. What time is it where you are? I was about to try to figure out what time it is in Europe. It's late. Why are you up? Oh, gosh. Scott, you didn't tell us that before you started giving us jokes. You're supposed to give us... An opportunity to know if we want to pay that or not. <laughs> 1 a.m. Oh, it's not so bad. Cash or visa. Hey, I've got my new visa card. I can pay with it. It's my it's my money back from AT&T. It's $300. How many jokes will that get? <laughs> Bubblegum. Oh, greetings. Thank you. How much of a difference is there, Panther? Large teeth, hay oils, mostly Panther. Um, Panthers are four to six times stronger than any muscaria. And it doesn't matter. The size of the mushroom is no indication of how many actives are in it. You can't go by size. Scott won't be sleeping tonight. Why? What time is it in Egypt? I 
I think you're only one or two time zones earlier from where Straws lives. <laughs> I'm not sure for all this amount of money. Uh, uh, boil the mushroom in milk and then I turn the milk into yogurt. Cool. Um, it's better though with raw milk because when you boil it, even if you started with raw milk, you killed all the good bacteria. And then you had to add a yogurt bacteria mix. So if you can just get raw milk and start with raw milk, then you don't ever have to heat anything up. You just put the Amanita tea in it. It'll turn into yogurt. Have you ever tried to cultivate your own mushrooms in an artificial setup? We can't Bradley. It's a highly complex thing. Um, a lot of people have tried. We know that they need certain bacteria. They need certain soil pH. They have to have certain water requirements. Um, there's a certain amount of an electrical field that they live in. They're so used to exchanging nutrients with trees that we don't even know, like, if it's that important for their survival. Uh, they exchange information with trees. So if they don't have a job to do, would they still grow? And this is just the beginning. Like, there's so much that we don't even know about Amanitas. But we can't. We can't grow them artificially. I have a slurry recipe that is actually really successful. If you want to look it up, it's on my website. I So far, I'm at like a 75% success rate with my slurry as far as being able to dump it outside, you know, and start them, start a new mycelial growth in an area, whatever. Where are we? I bold my shoes. He straw. Have you ever cultivated this? He, I don't need to try this, but on disability, I can't order spores. Um, I have to keep receipts of my purchases to prevent me from buying beer. To <laughs> land of the free. Uh, Q, Excellent mushrooms for improvement. Honest talk. Hope you don't mind. Smoke blend made me play PC games in base mode. <laughs> Rage in the machine, machine. Oh my God, that just wins comment of the year award. Yeah, it it does make you full of yourself and confident for sure. You're welcome, Bradley. Two twenty to midnight here. Why are bacteria bad at math? Because they multiply by dividing. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh God. Sorry for my ignorance, but I'm trying to get to know the Amanitas. I got PTSD and being treated psilocybin since 10 years in Florida, but I moved to Bavaria, Black Forest in Germany. Um, well, I use it for PTSD. That's what most people use this one for. So. Apparently, if you gather them in plastic bags, the spores will stick to the plastic bags and you can regrow them like that in different forest areas. Um, you have like a five to 15% chance of growing new mycelium. If you're only using spores, it's not a very successful method. Yeah. Germany, they are very prolific in the black forests in Germany. These are. Oh, Havila, love from Denmark. Um, muscamal shop. Yes. Um, dried and just fresh raw. You know, I, ha I did it on camera on video. I talk about that to me. It's like the limitless drug and then using ibotenic acid that way. I have a whole bunch of videos about it on my website. I have a whole ibotenic acid playlist. Now it will help even more. Yeah, Andrew, I hear you. Agreed. Oh, yeah. Read Straws Off the Camel's comment there about PTSD. What is Piccolo's favorite kind of truck? Dodge. Oh, uh, well, mister, I'm a lot of people's moms. I have a lot of adopted kids. <laughs> you're now you're you're just handing off jokes you don't even understand. I don't think you can get paid for those, Ska. I smell a scammer. 
Uh, to have alcohol, I simply bought a water distiller, four cups of Brugge's gallon. I only drink every few months. Ben, I have Amanita beer, actually. Uh, my friend, the man on the mountain, brewed it. It's amazing. Alan, aphasia, really? It it stimulates, well, also, like, it, it has increased my, uh, what do you call it when your senses get crossed, like, where sight has sound and color has taste. Still, what is that? Anyway. I am slow on the words right now. Yep, bubblegum. Anything with the nervous system. Synesthesia, right? Yeah, Velvia, synesthesia. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> synesthesia. I already had synesthesia. It increased my synesthesia. No, you won't see it in South Carolina, Sea Monkey. It's too far south. They don't grow in sand very well. There are some places where they will grow, like in Florida, but it's usually more further away from the coast. <laughs> Ska, what are you on anyway? I don't know anybody in South Carolina that's found any, actually. And the closer you get to the coast of Georgia, like Savannah down there, they don't find them down there either. See, I haven't had any Casimirs. I haven't had any from the Rocky Mountains at all. That's why um, the scariest store guy here. Are you still here? The Muscomal shop. I want to buy some. Straws. Um, I mean, I don't get visuals really with Amanita. But something's going on in the brain. But potentially maybe also in the peripheral nervous system. They found that um, for... Autistic people, the nerve for hearing runs side by side with a pain nerve that carries pain. And they think that in autistic people, they actually are sending cross signals. So that's why pain sound can be painful. Um, and it does make all my senses more sensitive. So perhaps something's happening in the peripheral nervous system. And I went to a busy supermarket on my highest dose. And Manita, I suspect it definitely helped. Cool. Yes, there's pantherinas in New Zealand. Lots of them, Alan. Okay. Muscomal, if you'll message me on Instagram, I want to get some from you because I haven't had any from Colorado. I would like that. Come to Denmark. Yes, they are all over the place. I'm already coming to Sweden and there's no room left in my schedule to add another date. I'll be in Copenhagen, but only for like 24 hours. Like that's the closest. Chuck in April. Varian Duke Wilhelm issued his beer purity stipulating that only water barley were allowed to be used as key ingredient. Ah, huh. Huh. Isn't that interesting? Y Suarez, sound and pain. That's me. Me too, man. Andrew is adding Richard. Richard, Andrew's trying to tell you something. Ban everything. We also have tons of blackberries here. Crush two gallons. Ooh, ooh, I bet that's good. What does a mushroom buy when it's having a midlife crisis? A spores car. <laughs> <laughs> Grim. Yeah, that's why we made it because we suspected there might be some Amanita beer going on with the Norse. It's so fucking good too. My God. Definitely makes my visual snow worse. Grainy at times. Really, Carl? Huh? I haven't had that with it. If you've never tried blackberry wine, it's the best ever. Cool. 
Blackberries grow here. They're kind of sour, though. Okay, I'm going to go make some more of this. I'm going to let y'all talk unless someone has a question for me. We're back up to 34. My store is open if anybody wants to go support me and get something. I dropped my prices too, actually, because times are hard for everybody and prices have gone up for me for labels and some of the materials I need and for bottles and jars and all that. But I think that everything is just rough on everybody right now. So this time around, I dropped prices on almost every item, actually, by like $5. Oh, Muscomal Shop. Thank you. Got it. All right. When I get off of here, I'll message you, okay? Hey, back. All right. What's the best advice you have for a first-timer at the moment? Um, start small and work your way up and go to my website to learn about it before you take it. AmanitaDreamer.net. I had to move all of my Amanita content from YouTube to my own website and like pay to support the bandwidth for that because... YouTube just kept taking my content down. So it's all over there. AndyDreamer.net. Anyway, hey, Jeremy, Aseline, welcome. There are a lot of Panthers here, but I wonder if I trust them the same as the Reds. They are four to six times stronger. I've never had Gasali eyes, no. They grow north of here, but not here. And I've never traveled to the places where they grow, only to the places where the red ones are. So I've never tried them. I'd like to know if they also have that really high ibotenic acid Loki energy. It's like when I try, when I take the ones from down here, the Persicinas, they're very high in the dancing, joking, laughing, fun energy on the front end. But the ones in the Pacific Northwest and the ones in Europe, they are not so much. They they kind of are get to the serious shit pretty quickly. That fun part is really short-lived, you know. Um, Jeremy, thanks a lot. Long time follower. Oh, cool. And I'm helping others now. Yes. You're an unbelievable person and your direction is, oh, you are so welcome. You know, I'm coming to Paris. Go to my events page on my website. I have the date and coffee shop where I'll be. Come say hi. Come have coffee with me. Oh, good. Muscomal. Go grab some for me. To talk, are you also talking about blackberries? Ah, we have snakes here too that eat them. The blackberries. Biosecurity in New Zealand considers amni as an invasive species. Yeah, so does Australia. Picking them all the time, but I'm scared. Tavil, go to my website and watch videos. You won't be scared. And even if you are, at least you'll know how to proceed. You know what I mean? AmityDreamer.net. I got you. I got you. Is it normal for some people to not get all the effects? Yeah, I have videos about that. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, Frank. I have videos about that. And we're trying to figure out why. Oh, y'all are talking to each other. The French are speaking. 
When I tried pantherinas from Lithuania, it was that very cheerful side. Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. I get along with all the snakes except the copperheads. They're irrational. Oh, Jeremy. Oh, my gosh. Cool. Mini session where I'll convey that you and the other are the best community. That's so sweet. Richard, thank you. Thanks for the money, honey. Thank you. It's going in my savings to uh, support myself when I'm traveling around Europe. I have no idea what the cost of living is there. <laughs> I do Zooms though, Jeremy. I do Zooms on my community website, my private patron website, you know. Um, did you ever end up making the Soma ice cream? Yeah, uh, eh, it was okay. Nothing to write home about. Yeah, Alan, you prepare them the same way. They're, they're the same actives. There's a few things that are different, but the actives are the same. So preparation is the same. It's just dosing is very, very, very different. Thank you again, Richard. I'm really grateful. Anybody else have questions? We've been on here an hour and a half. I'm kind of hungry. I'm going to go make some food. I'm getting sleepy too from the green natural painkiller. Tastes so nasty. Anybody want me to pull a card for them that I didn't pull a card for earlier? Not you, Sky. You already got three. A liter of gas, like 70. What? Jesus Christ. Looking for some mascara today. Found out that were Panthers, but now I'm not sure. Lookalikes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't even trust my own foraging for pantherina. Oh, Jeremy's in Quebec, but I've traveled a lot, have a lot of discussion points. Can't wait to talk with you. Thanks for your help. Oh, cool. Thank you, Sea Monkey. I'll try to catch you next week. Is it next week already that I'm doing my uh, thingy? Let me see. What is today's date? Next Saturday is my Zoom, community Zoom with everybody. What's today? The 23rd. Next Saturday is the 30th, so it won't be that. So Saturday after next. It'll be Saturday the 6th, August 6th. Okay, um, Frank's card. Frank, navigate. Because of light in the night sky are there to guide you. Oh, beacons of light in the night sky are there to guide you. Beacons of light in the night sky are there to guide you. That one's a tough card, more like navigating your way through difficulty where you don't have direction. Jesse Gray, well, if I enjoy your live streams, I never say a lot, never, but I always learn something. Thank you, Jesse. Yay. <laughs> Dying to find Amanita and Wichita. You're not going to find any in Kansas. I haven't heard anybody find any in Kansas. Jeremy, weird question, but how do you choose your days when you navigate to when I feel out of touch and lost? Ban everything. Your website's going to be my guide when I locate one of these mushrooms. I know they're here. 
remember reading about, don't remember when to look. I'm moving within two weeks. Where you, well, yeah, the video on where to look for Amanita in the description, you'll see where to look, what trees and stuff that they grow with. You know what I mean? Am I seasonal? No, SB. I am SB'd on YouTube. They shadow ban my work and they don't push it out to anybody. When I'm traveling, I don't upload, but when I'm home, I do. I have hundreds of videos on my channel. They just don't, they don't tell anybody. Grim, I mostly see them in the fall, September and on, yeah, till first frost. That's that's how they are just about everywhere. Jeremy, you have great live streams, by the way. Oh, thanks so much. I feel it, but I would like to know how to improve into it. Didn't we all? When you figure that out, let me know. Thanks for that. I always think that my lives are boring. Like, <laughs> uh, I like watching the people that I follow, content creators that I follow. I like it when they go live, you know, because I'm interested in it or whatever. But I always feel like mine are just, just boring or something. I don't show up like with this long thing. Sometimes I... Excuse me, I have something to say, but like today, I didn't have anything to say, really. I remember it saying there was a specific time of year. Yeah, go go see that. It It's it's a cold weather. It's a cold weather mushroom, so fall. Andrew, more polka dot. <laughs> I don't actually really, I don't think I have that much polka dot. I really don't. I need more, honestly. Everybody needs more polka dot in their lives. Actually, um, <laughs> you're welcome, Andrew. Um, I've been poor a lot in my life. And in college, when I was extra poor, I really loved this red polka dot address. I should have known even back then. And I saved up my money to buy it. And... I added it to my dry cleaning that I put by the door and my roommate thought it was trash and, and threw it out. All my dry cleaning, that dress could only be dry cleaning. I only wore it once. <laughs> so every time I think about polka dot clothing, I remember that. <laughs> Jeremy, you have a shining personality and you help. Aw, thanks for accepting questions and actually answering. Well, what the fuck do other people do? Why would they not answer questions? That would be rude. <laughs> You're very welcome, but like that's normal conversation, right? Frank, I've wanted to talk to you for over two years. I'm glad you went live today and it's nice seeing you pop back up on YouTube. Yay, I'm glad you found me. I'm surprised that YouTube is telling people that I am here. Um, Frank, I do Zoom meetings, you know, on my private Patreon thing. If you can only afford to join for that one Zoom and then you leave, do that. You can sign up for a week, but like, don't do it until right before my zoom. If you want to talk to me on zoom, but if you go, let me, okay, look, if any of y'all want to come to my zoom, let's do this. First of all, let me give you the link. And then I'm going to give you a free code to use for a free week. Of course, you got to like set an alarm or something, a reminder to un do it so that it doesn't hit your credit card. You know what I'm saying? Like five, six days later or something so that you don't actually pay. All right. Here's the link to the site. Right. And if you've already done this, like I, I ran this special in June for my anniversary, you know, of being Amity Dreamer. Um, so some of you may have already used it. And if you have, you can't use it again. But I'm writing it right here. It's just free week. I don't know if it has to be all caps or not. So use that link and then use that coupon code. But don't do it until right before my Zoom, which was, what do we say? August 6th. My Zoom is August 6th. So sign up like right before that. And then you can get the link and come to the Zoom. Let's see. Let me catch up. Um, we don't 
Where are you? Where am I? Uh, what is Eminem's favorite chocolates? Eminem's. <laughs> ah! Oh, Richard, thank you. It was cool just hanging out. Oh, cool. Yay. I know. I like to just hang out. We don't get our first frost in Louisiana till late October. Yeah, that's when they grow here too. Late October. Jeremy, some Q&As are mostly posing and nothing more. Then what's the point? I don't think I would subscribe to those channels. <laughs> Grim mushrooms generally stop growing when frost hits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Iswara, is it okay if I sign up for Paris, even if I'm not sure I can make it due to health issues? I mean, sign up and that way I'll be in touch with you. I'll have your contact information and I and I can post any updates or whatever. You know what I mean? Please sign up. It's Yeah. I like that your lives are not just ads for the Patreon page. And then I turn right around and link to my page. That's hilarious. I forget. I don't do these to make money or whatever. I do these because I like this. You know what I mean? Like y'all. <laughs> and I like giving you guys a chance to talk to each other. Oh, Lucy. You're very welcome. That's why I do it. I usually go live on Christmas Day, too. I don't announce it because I don't ever really know if I can or if I'm going to, but I usually do because a lot of people are really lonely on Christmas Day. So I like that. We always have fun. <laughs> That's the issue for the noob. Hard to know the correct amount. Yep. I'll be metal detecting in the woods at my new home when the weather gets cool. I'm sure I'll spot them. Oh, yeah. In fact, large pine trees, really. Let me know if you do. Northwest Vancouver-ish is wonderful for mushrooms. For the rest, you have to follow the weather. Uh, Jeremy, do you know, have you seen my video of me foraging in Vancouver? The big fucking mushrooms I found? Do you know about that? Like, it's on... YouTube won't let me show my foraging videos. I got strikes and locked out of my channel for foraging. Amanita. Anyway, on my website, amanitadreamer.net, there is a playlist called Foraging Videos. You've got to go see that. The one, it was from this past October in Vancouver. They were insane. They were so big. There were so many. So many. We foraged for 24 hours around the clock. Hey, David. You're welcome, Frank. Thank you, Jeremy. I forget to say that. Your stream seems to be about how much info you can share instead of how much money you can milk. Yeah, because, like, that's why I'm here. <laughs> I don't... I don't think I could really do this for years of my life if I wasn't into this. You know what I mean? Like if it was just about, if it was just a job, I wouldn't be able to do it for very long. Gasawi, I what? Oh, uh, Nate. Amanita muscaria has varieties and in the South, there is a variety called Gasawii, but they grow all the way up to Michigan, but they're mostly on the eastern side of the United States. But they stop growing at Tennessee and North Carolina. They don't grow any more south than that, so they don't grow in Georgia. But they're just a variety of Amanita. Um, off topic, but Hobby Lobby has cute ceramic mushies for decorating. <laughs> cool. Um there was this store in downtown Portland that had a bunch of Amanitas like stuff in it. It was really cute. Um, SB, the Amanitas in my area. No, uh, we have, we don't have Amanita muscaria. We have Amanita persicinas and they're a peach color. And if you go to my foraging videos, you I forage them and show them on camera and everything. They're really pretty. They were a variety of Amanita muscaria until they ran the genetics and found that they were their own um, mushroom. They were their own species. Holy shit, Luke, 20 bucks. Really? Thank you. 
That's very generous. Thank you. That's really generous. I really appreciate that. It's going to go in my fund for the Europe trip. You're going to buy me food. Okay. Um, let me try to catch up. You're going to make me cry. Thank you. God, I don't understand all y'all's generosity. It's really awesome. <laughs> um, let's see. I was there when you were a few weeks away. I'm sorry I missed you. Vancouver was amazing. Okay, yeah, so you did see that. Yeah. Oh, that sucks that you weren't there. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of drying um, for the mushrooms. And yes, they got to get cracker dry if that's what you're referring to. Um, Andrew, I miss Vancouver. Went to college in Bellingham. Bellingham is just freaking beautiful. Really, really, really beautiful. Angry. Thank you for the $5, man. Food in Europe is expensive. Great. Y'all are so awesome. Thank you. I really appreciate this. I really do. Um, have you tried going into an amnesia trip, avoiding concentrating in the visuals? I guess you'd go deeper into the experience. Uh, I trip so much on Amanitas. I've done it every way you can possibly do it. I don't get that many visuals. I get, I mean, I've done them on camera if you want to see it. Joshua, it's making me cry just watching your live. I've been so out of touch and I needed this. I love you, man. Oh my God. Y'all, seriously. Thank you. DKK, what is that? DKK to USD. Oh, the Danish crone. Okay. Wow. That's really nice. Thank you. I got to close some windows. I got too many windows open. I'm, it's slowing down here. Thank you. That's very generous of you. I'm back. Who sent me that? Seville. Oh my gosh. Thanks, man. Thank you. Y'all are so sweet. Welcome back, Joshua. I'll take pics to share if I find them. Will you please send them to me on um, Instagram, but tell me your username here because people send me pictures all the time. I don't open them unless I know who they are for reasons, obvious reasons. What's your time zone? What time is the Zoom? Um, the Zoom is on Saturdays at 2 Eastern Standard Time. Hey, Don from Australia. Welcome. Do they grow in the Midwest? No. Nope, nope, nope. I'm sorry, angry. We all appreciate your scientific approach. Oh, wait, I missed. Where, did you Where am I? Where am I? What's your time zone? Do they grow in the Midwest? No, you helped us a lot. Thanks from everyone. Your videos are very complete and your help is much appreciated. We don't mind the link, of course. God, so much love from you guys. <laughs> Can you draw a card? Alan needs a card. All right, Alan, you ready? Dream. Wish upon a star. Be a dreamer. <laughs> but it, What would be the best resource for learning to identify and locate locally? Angry, go to my website, amnydreamer.net. And in the where, uh, what what is the list? Uh, it's a playlist about foraging and it tells you where to look. Let me see what the name of the playlist is. Sorry, I hit the mic. It is the playlist called um, 
picking and processing. And the picture of the playlist is a basket of Amanitas. And actually, a lot of those in that basket are my Persicinas that I get down here. But go to the picking and processing playlist. Um, ban, yeah, y'all do have them in Louisiana. They're just illegal. Jeremy, we all appreciate your scientific approach. Cool. Thanks for the help with everything. You are welcome. Please get your dinner now. We can wait for your generosity. Aw, I'm having fun though. <laughs> and I'm hungry. I wish I had a, somebody I could just be like, bring me food. All the ones I've seen were growing under pines. Yeah, that's that's typical for the South. Norway, Sig Ventures, lots of mushrooms here, even in the garden. Wow, cool. Send all the life you can, please. <laughs> Where's Freya? Uh, she's outside right now. Probably on the back deck. Since it rained, she's probably under the table on the back deck. Thank you for asking about Freya. All the info you gave me on Amanita and the human love can't be paid in money. Oh, thank you. Now I know why I saw so many of these because we camped a lot around Thanksgiving. I spent a lot of time in the woods and cool weather. They stand out, right? Yep. More love, people. Thanks so much for what you bring. Oh my God, Jeremy. Thank you. I'm having to collect a few. This coming season, really curious about these since discovering your channel. I'll see them all the time. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. There's Amanita in Mexico. Yes, absolutely. In Chiapas and Evandaro, a friend of mine grabbed one and fainted immediately. Mm. They grow on rainy season, like right now. I stay out of the forest here in warm weather because the stinging yellow jackets. Jeez, man, we've had some really bad yellow jacket summers. Yes, Don, they are all over Australia, especially in your pine forests. Yeah, Grim and um, who just said hi from Norway? Uh, Sig Ventures and. Grim, you two are from Norway. How have you noticed that animals react to Amanita? The same as humans. The same. All of my cats microdose it. They all like it and, and know it and they eat it. One of my cats over ate and got really sick, but most of them know to stop. Um, my producer for the documentary that, that I'm making about Amanita or if you don't know, we're in the middle of filming a documentary about it. I'm uh, executive director for it. My producer lives in Australia, but that doesn't mean I would be going there. I don't know. We'll see. Jeremy, I am headed right to your Patreon. Oh, but I want to mention how the stream is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> It's very bad to make 10,000 yellow jackets mad and have to try to outrun them. Yeah, I've been attack stung by them. I got really sick and had to go to the emergency room. It was a pretty shitty <laughs> experience. Thank you, Jeremy. All right, y'all. I'm going to go eat. It's been almost two hours. I love you, beautiful people. Check out my store. Mushroom Voice is open. It'll be open for about 24 more hours. And... I left the link to my private Patreon site with a free week code you can use to get a free week and then just set an alarm or something to make sure you cancel if you don't want your credit card to get dinged. And I am hungry. Joshua, I'm about to write to you. And Muscamal Shop, I'm about to write to you. All right. We are out. I hate to stop the conversation, but I'm hungry. 39 people here. My gosh. Thank you, y'all, for hanging out with me on a Saturday night. Y'all are great. They love you all. 
We're out. Bye. <laughs> I will enjoy my food. I will have a great night. Bye, beautiful people.